creative people. We got to come together. The pandemic knocked a lot of people down on their knees, some on their backs. People's journeys, their careers, their ambitions deflated because that one place they went to where they could be creative, furloughed, fired, whatever you want to call it. But we got to get you back. It's become too easy to receive a check from the government and not have to work with our creativity. But we, we, we can't do that. Creative people, we've got to come forward. We've got to be able to create again because creativity is what put us in the place that we are. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Do you got a cup of coffee? Maybe a Coca-Cola? What, what you got going on? When it comes to sitting down and having a real honest-to-God conversation. Or are you one of those people, you do the cheers bar approach, you put your elbows on the table, you kind of twiddle your thumbs back and forth, and you say, so what's on your mind? I know what's on my mind. I want to know what's on your mind. Don't let this wall, this speaker, stand in the way of the relationship that we are building with two people that just happen to have met on this particular day. I don't know what day you're on because what happens is that's the strangest thing about this digital streaming age is that I'm on July 9th, 2021, and you could be in 2027. It it happens that way. But I, I look at the analytics of my podcasting, which I've been doing since 2012, and it's kind of funny, and, and I laugh like a child. I, I'll go in there and look at the analytics at, at what people are listening to, and I'm amazed. I'm amazed. At there are interviews and podcasts that I did in 2014 that are still being listened to in 2021. It's like, people, that was seven years ago. Doesn't matter, man. That's the lesson learned. When you put something out there, don't make it about necessarily what's happening in your glory in this place. Make it about dear future reader, dear future listener. I'm going to share with you a story about where we are now. But I have a strange feeling that there's going to be a tool that we're going to speak of that you can use on your present path. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. Been doing this since July of 1994. 27 years of daily writing. Love it, love it, love it. Pain in the butt, though, sometimes, because you think it's easy to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and instantly sit in your writing chair and start putting thought down? No, 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 no. Don't want to sit with me. Well, you do, because I'm, I'm kind of funny in the way that I like, I like living off other people's energy, as well as the energy of my, my doves, my blue crown conure, my dog. It's all, it's all about the energy coming together as one, and it happens to flow through the writing instrument. This is The Daily Mess. No matter how exhausted the path presents itself, I am faithful to the building blocks that make up the platform, that which is the makeup of the present moment. What? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> All right, let's put focus on this. No matter how exhausted the path presents itself, I am faithful to the building blocks that make up the platform, that which is the makeup of the present moment. What in God's name is that supposed to mean? A writing instrument can't work on its own. The nib isn't a razor blade scraping off tree paint to reveal hidden messages. The landscape of a daily writer's portrait is determined by the accessibility of opportunity, which is fed by a river of hope and honesty. That's the assignment. That's what it is. And, and, and I reach out to you going, what is your assignment? What is it that you do daily and have done daily for several years? And it's like, oh, my God, there's something more here to the story. To make yourself available, to find no energy in the development of overused sources of excuses. You're just there no matter what. You show up. And it's not about collecting paychecks. It, it's just something that you were called to do. And it, do, it doesn't have to be the preacher. It doesn't have to be the banker. You don't have to be the CEO. You can just be just me. It's just me. I'm showing up again. Here I am. You noticed yourself being there. That's a great feeling. It's easier to admit defeat in an age where your strongest supporters accept when you're weak. Ugh. Ugh. That... That's a sharp accusation. 
it's easier to admit defeat in an age where your strongest supporters accept what is weak. Come on. You know what I mean? You'll make a mistake. It's fine. You, it's, you're okay. We, we all still support you. You're good. Everything. Everything's fine. But inside your head and heart, you're going, I'm such a loser. Oh, my God. I can't believe they saw me do that. Oh, oh. It's okay. Come on. We all support you. It's as if we celebrate defeat. Why? Why? Because while, while we are defeated... And there are those that want to comfort us. We're not comforting ourselves. What we do is we remember a lot of things several years down the road. Oh, we could go that path. But remember, writing for me has got to be about living in the presence of now. We're all carrying the weight of a lot of luggage. But why do we want to invest in remembering. See, what, what's going on here, and this may kind of upset you a little bit in the stomach and the heart, but the thing is, is that I remember when collecting unemployment checks and living on food stamps was an embarrassment. I remember my father would say, go out and get a job so that we don't have to live on unemployment checks and food stamps. Go out and learn to support yourself. It was an embarrassment. You didn't sink a lot of pride into it. But look around the present place where we are now. In 2021, people don't care that they're carrying the EBT card. People don't mind getting that $300 check every week from the state government. It should be an embarrassment. There's enough jobs out there. Hey, look, I understand. You're not making what you used to make. It's not the world that it used to be. So let's go back now that we've had this conversation and I've pretty much upset your stomach. No matter how exhausted the path presents itself, we are faithful to the building blocks that make up the platform, that which is the makeup of the present moment. It's got a different feeling when you attach a little bit of emotion to it and you realize That where you are in the development of energy is in a place that isn't going to create excuses. Because you understand that the building blocks that are building your platform have got to be there. But if you're expecting them to show up without ordering them from Amazon, it ain't going to happen. You have to put a little bit of what that old-fashioned thing is my dad used to say. Where's your elbow grease, son? Put some elbow grease into that. Does Walmart sell that? I need some elbow grease. Remember when collecting unemployment checks and living on food stamps was an embarrassment. We are lost in the lanes of life. This is raw ambition that has got to be reignited. The physical development of shaping your skills. You got it. Use it. If you don't have it, find it. No matter how exhausted the path presents itself, we are faithful to the building blocks that make up the platform, that which is the makeup of the present moment. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.